So tell me, I want to know more. What is Mud Cows? Like, why? What have I missed out on? Was it? Is it a single VHS or is it a series? Like, what is it? Series, dude. Yeah. It was yeah, a I'm series, an idiot. bro. It was a series. It was downhill was happening before like most of the world knew that downhill was happening, and it was happening in Cairns, and uh, and it was Glenn. Dude, the story's fucking crazy, actually. He tells it on the podcast, and he actually tells it a little bit too humbly, if you ask me. Like, I was only a kid. Um, mm. But basically, like, to, for anyone that wants to watch it, we'll probably put it as a clip on YouTube. But he basically, that in, like, 95 or 94, they went to the Australian Downhill Mountain Bike Championships, and uh, it was at, like, Canberra, like, or Threadbow or something like that, and it was basically just tape and a skinny bit of fire road. And then occasionally it like went off the fucking, the fire road and then into a thing and a couple of logs and then back on the fire road. And then that was the finish line. So Glenn and all of his boys from, from Cairns, they loaded up into this van and they drove down to do the, the Australian championships and they got there and that, so they were just rough as fucking guts. Like all of the all of these boys, and they were twenty two like hour dying, drive. Like, yeah, no, this no, this would have been probably like a thirty five hour drive. Yeah, so, for real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was joking. Twenty two. Each way, thirty five hours each way. And so, so they're all just like normal clothes, the whole deal. They get down there, and it's fucking skin suits and lycra, and like tiny little bikes, and like. They were like cutting off their fucking seat poles and stuff because like the the jungle at, at home was so uh, steep that they were like cutting their seat poles off and everything. Like there was no sitting down for them, and so they get there and there's like long seat poles and lycra, and then they're like, "Where's the fucking downhill race?" And uh, they're like, "No, that's the downhill track." So they <laughs> raced that, and then they went home, and they were like, "They were like, we are never fucking leaving." We're never leaving our town again because that that if that's mountain biking, then we're not mountain biking. <laughs> so then they drove, they drove thirty six hours back, and they were all just fucking stewing on um on like kind of like what they were wrong about what mountain bikes were, and then um so yeah they just went back up and they just kept fucking digging like because we we just got the craziest jungle. I mean you guys have seen the Cairns World obviously, but. Mm. That's one of probably like 25 epic fucking downhill tracks that has been like scratched into the jungle up there. And there's some that are just like crazy, rooty, steep, fucking gnarly. There's like poisonous vines that fucking rip you off your bike. Like it's just, it's pretty, pretty epic, you know? Um, so anyway, Glenn at the time, he's a, he's a sign writer by trade, but he was just a tech guy as well. That's maybe why I'm so obsessed with cameras, but he always had like latest cameras, latest cameras. And dude, he made like a fucking helmet cam in like 95 <laughs> and uh, was taping like, um, I think the first movie was called uh, Crazy Ice Cream Heads from Outer Space. And uh, because basically <laughs> they were they were wearing like ice cream buckets on their heads as helmets with foam in it because of the padding and that like they needed a flat surface for the fucking for the camera because it was a camcorder wow so, yeah so like anyway so he just made all of these movies so it was like it was a mix of jackass crusty demons and like clay porter like with some you know race footage from back in the day dude they probably made like the first fucking helmet cam the first cable cam, like if yeah. you go back and watch those movies now, bro, like yeah, when you think about it, yeah, crazy, wow. and all of those, like, this is me just being full hyped on fucking Glenn right now, but like he always this ninety two, I want to I want to make this. Imagine if we made like this tiny little camera that could go on your head and you could put it here. So he was like on that wave, and then he'd make these cable cams and. Like all of his mates that were just like regular dudes at road moto and mountain bikes and stuff, they were like fabricators and they were, so one of them had like fabricate a cable cam for him and then that all go ride. But for years he ended up just filming all in the, in the jungle around our hometown with like the craziest motherfuckers ever. And, um, and at that time too. So like he was the influence of, um, guys like, uh, Michael Ronning, Chris Kavarik, Sean McCarroll, Mick Hanna, 
Like there mm. were so many guys that come from our hometown, and um, that and like guys you'd never heard of either. Like uh, there was a guy Cam Palmer, and he was literally like our Sean Palmer. He raced moto. He was a fucking like legend. He was a savage, and uh, and he just had like crazy, crazy talent. And um, so yeah, he just had all these guys around him, and they just made these crazy fucking movies. And it was like yeah, part jackass part fucking nitro circus and then part fucking three minute gaps of just like, all kind of fucked into one and then like ollie said the soundtrack insane really yeah and they, wow. they'd like open wounds to the beat yeah, dude yeah. that's what i took that was like my biggest takeaway and we, we like honestly as children obviously you like nail your shins so often yeah. as a mountain biker as a squid we used to do the same thing, like, we didn't have any cameras, but we are like, yeah, <laughs> pulling cuts apart, showing each other, wow. 